Arthur drops an atomic bomb. Hello everyone, welcome back to Operation Crimson Glory. This is turn six for the for the Allied Powers. Going into purchases, the United States has purchased three tanks, a diplomacy and a tech role. NATO has bought two submarines, a minor, three tanks, two diplomacy and two tech. In the Pacific, America has bought two jets, and Sato has bought an infantry, two heavy armor, a transport, and a destroyer. So we'll quickly go over here and get these done. So the United States' diplomacy will be against Yugoslavia. Fail. NATO's tech will be, and then the US tech will be for heavy tanks. Fail. NATO's diplomacy will be for Sweden. And they are successful. So, sorry, that's successful. So that'll be three to NATO. Plus six infantry that will come onto the board right off the bat. Sweden. Okay. And then NATO's tech rolls. NATO will attempt the heavy tanks as well. And they failed. All right. So that is the tech rolls. We'll move into set, uh, getting the combats determined and we'll be, and we'll get going. All right. Going into the attacks. Uh, the Allies, uh, NATO with air support, will be using the newly furbished forces in Sweden and Norway to attack Finland. The NATO forces are going to move in to destroy the Baltic fleet and hopefully make a landing at Leningrad. Uh, the British 21st Army, or the Army of the Rhine, is moving into Poland. The American Army, the tanks are going to blitz into Bavaria and join up with the forces, with the rest of the U.S. First Army and the NATO forces in Austria to attack Hungary. The American B-29s are launching a bombing raid against Romania. NATO is launching a small amphibious assault against Greece, supported by bombers. Actually, we're also going to bring one cruiser into the fight. Or do I want to? Did I want, do I want to bring a cruiser into the fight? No. We'll keep the cruiser out. <clears throat> the NATO bomber here is going to be launching a bombing raid against uh, Israel. Over in the Pacific. Sato's going for broke and is going to try and fight uh, and attack the um, <clears throat> communist air forces in Yunnan. And finally, we have a gigantic engagement around Japan. So, we'll, we'll get going on this. I think we'll start in Europe first. So we'll come over to the battle in Finland. Don't know how successful this will be, but we gotta try. Starting off for NATO, we have eight for one. Nothing for the first, so that's four for zero. Eight for zero, goodness gracious. And then two for three. Wow, and one for four. I only got one. That's embarrassing. And then the communists will hit back with one, two, three, four for two. And 
and they got one hit. Sato will, or I'm pretty sure the Russian player will probably try to retreat. So two artillery and a uh, mobile artillery. So we'll roll, so the one artillery, save, second artillery, save, and the mobile, save. So they retreated back into Karelia and NATO will take Finland back for two IPC. So we'll get that chipped in. And we'll get the forces back on the board. and we'll get the communist forces back into Karelia graveyard all right so now we'll move over to the sea battle Set up on the board. And then I gotta get the NATO fleet over here. So, kicking it off, NATO's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight for two. Four for one. And one for eight. Four. And all three hits. So that's one, two, and three. So the Russians will shoot back. Two for one. Nothing. Two for two. One hit. And two for three. One hit. All right. NATO will press the assault, so that is now one, two, three, four, five. That'll be six for two. And they got it. The communists, so Soviet Union hits again. All right, but that is the end of the Soviet fleet in the Baltic. And then the Allied forces with two infantry and two tank are able to slide right in to Leningrad. The anti-aircraft guns that were there are automatically destroyed. And NATO gets a small hegemony in Leningrad. So that's two, two more from Russia and two more for NATO. We'll get the Get the NATO marker on that. Going over to Germany. Kind of like before, there's no way that the... Honestly, there's no way that this force would miss a hit of one. So we're going to call it killed. And he'll roll one for two. And he misses. And so Poland will now fall to, the, to NATO for two. Marker on that. I'll move the British 
Army of the Rhine into Poland. And then, like I said, the American tanks will go into Bavaria first. So that'll be two IPC back to the United States and minus two for, that'll be two for, um, two for the United States and minus two for Russia. And then we go into the main battle, which actually, whoops, I need to clear off the battle board. So, apologies. stuff into the graveyard these fighters can just hang out in the Baltic for a minute until the non-combat move and so like I said so now we got those forces going in so Let's see here. We can kind of, I mean, we can kind of go off from here. So do you, well, actually, oof. Okay, maybe not. Let's see here. How do I want to do this? Okay, so. One second. So, one, six, seven. So that'll cover 14 infantry. So six, seven. Actually, and then the American artillery will cover two more. So, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just have to put this over on the on the battle board. All right, one second. Actually, no, I am wrong on this. I was completely wrong on this. My apologies. So. Whoops. So this is the attacking force into Slovakia. These are the Russian defenders. in an actual mount to put my camera on okay so the United States will go so we got six for one nope nope and then four for two wow nothing and then let's see here, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll be nine for three. One. One for four. One for eight. Good rolls for NATO. One for nine. Nope. And then we have the one, the ta tactical. Wow, and he misses. Gosh, NATO's not getting the rolls today. So, thinking it over. Um, knowing, knowing my Soviet counterpart, he is more than likely going to... He would more than likely retreat. So that is going to be. So he'll probably retreat in. He'll retreat back into Romania. 
So let's see here. So he's got three infantry. Save. And then three artillery. Come on. And they all make it too. So the Soviet Southern Army successfully retreats back to Romania. And the Allies are able to grab this. So we'll get the next one set up and we'll go from there. Actually, before we do the retreat, I totally forgot to do the Russian counterattack. So Russia will roll, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight for two. Two for four, and nothing. So two for four, okay, and then, yeah. And then the Russians retreat. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll move right along actually, because next are the two strategic bomb is the strategic bombing raid of Romania. So anti-aircraft gun, no, no, one bomber for damage. Max damage is it, so we won't even roll the other bomber. And then, so I will just put that up here for now to represent its max damage. Pull that off. Next, we'll go down to the battle here. So two for two for three, two for four, two for two. So two for two for three, one, and then two for four both hit so that's all the soviet forces and they roll two for two oops gotta re-roll that they got one unfortunately so but nato takes greece though they only have one tank remaining and then we will move we shall move right along and do the bombing raid for Israel this is damage wow one what a what a useless bombing raid that was okay next the all for nothing here in Yunnan that's two for one and one for three See if Sato can get lucky. Whoopsies. So that was a six. Yeah, double six is not, that's not good. And one for three. So they killed one of the fight one of the jets, and they get three for four. And they got one of the infantry. Uh well, you know what? We're going for broke, so Sato will keep going. Miss. Miss, China, and killed them both. Not a very, not entirely a smart one, but I mean, it damaged the enemy air force, kind of. All right, so we'll quickly, we'll quickly pause and get set up for the battles around Japan and see if the Americans will actually be able to land. All right, starting off, this is the sea battle for Japan. So the carrier, miss, and then we got four destroyers for two. Wow, three hits, really needed that. And then the Americans got two fighters for two, or three. Those are both hits. And then the Americans got one, two, three, four, five for f five for four. And they got the remainder. So now the so the communists will fight back. So that's two for three. Wow, misses. And then five for four. Oh, good, goodness gracious. And they got two hits. So, 
So if anything, we will take a hit on the carrier and one destroyer. So that is the battle for the Sea of Japan. Now we'll move right over into the ground invasion. So we'll, um, we'll quickly take a pause, we'll take another pause and then get the ground battle set up. All right, here we go for the, for the battle for Japan. The United States will roll two, four, seven for two. That's three for five. That's two more for seven, and then fighters and tanks, so three for three, and they got it. China will shoot back with four for two, nothing, and two for three, one. And that is it. The United States will re-secure Japan for five IPC. Bring their total up to 57. All right, so that is the end of combat. And we will, I did change my mind. Instead of taking a hit on the carrier, I just took another hit on the destroyers. So that way the jets will be able to land on the carrier for the non-combat turn. All right, so that is it. That is it for the attacks. We'll go into the non-combat and deployment and we'll take a look at the board from there. All right, so at the end of turn six, the United States has dropped their three tanks into Spain and the Allies are moving forces towards the Mediterranean. The Allies are continuing to move forward across Central Europe, heading for Eastern Europe, and are preparing more forces in the Mediterranean. And NATO dropped their that miner in Germany, the tanks in France, and the subs off of Southern Italy. In the Pacific, Sato dropped their infantry and two heavy tanks in Malaya, dropped their destroyer and transport off the Philippines. Unfortunately, they didn't, don't really have the movement to move anything else. Well, actually, just for safety's sake, let's grab this transport. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we can at least try and pick up that guy in New Zealand. And then up here, United States has consolidated its hold over Japan, has moved its participating air forces back to Iwo. That carrier from the, from the Atlantic has now reached the Pacific, and the U.S. dropped their two jets on Alaska and moved their, their forces in the western United States into the, into the north central Pacific. So that is the at the end of the turn, Sato will grab 30, 31, 31. The United States will get 57, plus the one they saved. So the United States will have 58 next turn. And then NATO gets a whopping 79. 50, 60, 70, 75, 79. It's a pretty big stack for NATO next turn. All right. So that is, again, that is the end of turn six for, oh, actually, I forgot to do something. When that transport came back, he was supposed to grab one of them and bring them forward. My mistake. 
So, okay, now that is the end of the turn. Give one more overview with how everything is looking. That's the European front. And we'll come over to the Pacific front where the communists look like they might. I mean, they'll definitely hurt the Allies in the Pacific, but with the gains that the Allies are starting to make in Europe, don't know how much don't know if the communists are really gonna be able to to hold out. But that is so that is the general overview of the map. And we'll see you guys next time for turn seven of Operation Crimson Glory. Have a good one, guys. Bye.